hello there welcome to my channel my name is Missy and I hope you're having a wonderful day uh, I have a Trader Joe's haul for you and taste test and I'm pretty excited about this haul everyone in the house has been waiting for me to do this so that they can get into all the snacks so let's get to and I'll show you what I bought at Trader Joe's I love this store absolutely love it if we had even one in Canada I would probably travel to it and do shopping quite often that's how much I love this store so the first thing I'm going to show you is pumpkin spice herbal blend tea and this was $4.99 and it has a nice tin now I went around Thanksgiving Halloween uh, so um, everything was pumpkin spice so uh, I would love to be there right now with all the Christmas stuff out but that's not how it worked out but um, I can't wait to try this. Um, this would be really nice uh, for the afternoon or at night. I love a tea before I go to bed. So uh, we're going to try this tonight. And uh, I'm sure the girls will try it too. I'm sure they're going to love it. So the next thing I picked up, I kind of just watched people in the store and followed them around to see what they were picking up. Like I figure, you know, they're probably picking up favorites, um, things they have uh, repurchased. So that's kind of what I did was follow people around. And uh, the next thing I got was Trader Joe's Butter Toffee Pretzels. And these were $2.99. And we're going to try those today. Yes, we are. But I love the packaging. Um, and uh, many people were buying these. So I figure they must be good. And everyone in this house is waiting to try these. To try everything, really. The next thing I bought okay so I bought a couple of bags of these uh, the first time at Trader Joe's and uh, my husband and I just wanted a really light kind of snack the last night we were in the States so we bought some cheese at Trader Joe's and I said to him I think I bought some crackers let me go out and check the car so I brought in these crackers and um, I didn't have any cheese I pretty much ate the whole bag of crackers myself I am so addicted to these crackers and uh, I had only bought two bags. We ate one, so that meant I had one left and I was out of my mind. So I Googled where the next Trader Joe's was on our way home and I found one and I went in and bought eight bags. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of these crackers because if you order them online, you're ordering them from a third party and they are really, really expensive. These are the best crackers I've ever had in my life, and they're great on their own. You could put cream cheese with them, but I would eat them just the way they are. And they're trail mix crackers with mung beans, seeds, cashews, raisins, and cheese. And they are fantastic. And these were $2.49 a bag. And I think I saw online, I mean, there's different ones, but I think like three bags of them on Amazon was like, I, I can't remember, it was just so much money that it was ridiculous. But these are the best crackers I've ever had in my life. If you find yourself in the States at a Trader Joe's, buy these crackers. They are wonderful. The birds love them. I can't wait to try one today. I'm so excited. So the next thing I bought was, um, people are buying these like crazy too. And they were the, um, or they are the peanut butter filling chocolate wafer cookie. And um, I think they were two. No, 198 and that's what that looks like we're gonna try that today I'm super excited to try this um, but everybody was buying them I got two of those the next thing I got I got for my girls but we're gonna try it today um, I might like it but it is um, cookie butter spread and um, I think this how much was this this was $3.99 now I remember working at the bulk barn and um, they got a cookie butter in at one time and it didn't sell very well because it was really, really expensive. So $3.99, even with the exchange, um, is still a better price than what the bulk barn had it for. But we are going to try that today and then um, the girls will probably <laughs> get into it when they get home from work. And the rest of this bag is just many bags of the crackers. I can't tell you. I just don't know what I'm going to do. We hopefully are pl planning another trip in the spring, um, but eight bags is not going to last me until the spring. I don't know. I'll be out of my mind, I'm sure. So the next bag. 
so I saw somebody picking these up and I had to have them as well and they were $2.49 and they are um, dill pickle flavored Virginia peanuts Trader Joe's and uh, I love dill pickle it's one of my favorite flavors and I got two bags of those and we're gonna try those today as well there's the other bag the next thing I got, and when I worked at the ball barn, these were very expensive too, and these are beeswax um, food bags, and um, there's four of them, and they have different patterns on them. These were $10 each, a steal, even with the exchange, I thought anyways, but my daughter really is into things like this, and she was pretty happy to see them, and uh, I can't wait to use them, but uh, yeah, beeswax bags, and uh, like I said, they are very, very expensive here in Canada. The next thing I got, um, I remember having these at Starbucks way back, not the same brand, but these were 99 cents and they are the Coffee Lovers Espresso Beans. And we're gonna try those today. I got three packages of those and um, you know, one for me, one for each of the girls because they love it, this sort of thing. But I uh, can't wait to try those. And then I saw a lady pick up probably about 10 to 12 of these and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna buy one and see what they're like. But they are the dark chocolate peanut butter cups and they were 99 cents also. And um, I can't wait to try those today. Um, I'm not a big dark chocolate person, but um, we'll try them. I might really, really like them. But I know my kids will eat them if I don't like them. The next thing I got, I had to have, I thought this was brilliant, and it's the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Chocolate Chunk Oatmeal Cookie Mix. And I'll probably do a short or something of me making this, or a full video, I'm not sure yet. But um, I think you only need um, so a package of this, an egg, um, butter, and water. That's all you need for this, and this was $4.79. Again, very good price for this, and um, I might make those later today, but I will film it either a short or a full-length film. I'm not sure yet, or a full-length video. But I uh, was happy to see that. And, of course, I bought a few packages of this yeast. It was $0.99. Cents. I use a lot of it um, normally, but at Christmas time, I do use quite a bit of yeast. So I've already used a package of this on pizza that I made, and it is fantastic yeast. It really, really is, and I wish I had bought a whole box of it, but I didn't. So my husband got talking to this guy that worked at Trader Joe's, and we were, actually him and I were looking at this lemon curd, and uh, thought, what will we put it on? Will we even like it? And the guy started talking to my husband about it and what you could do with it. I don't know. I haven't asked my husband yet. He just said, let's buy it. So this was $4.49. And uh, it's uh, lemon curd. And, uh, you know, we'll try that. I might even try just a little bit today on a spoon or something like that. But uh, I'm, I'm anxious to, to see what it tastes like. I just don't know if I'll open it today or not. We'll see. I'll put it over here just in case I decide to taste it. So, the next thing I picked up, I picked up for the girls. I'll just give it to them today. But they were 99 cents. And it's a hot cocoa stirring spoon. So it's just a stick with, um, you know, chocolate, cocoa, and marshmallows to put in for a hot chocolate or a hot cocoa. And um, also we sold these at the bulk barn for way more than 99 cents. But I was happy to see those. I thought it would just be a nice treat for the girls. There's the other one. And uh, so I picked up this for my daughter because she had bought some recently. And I thought maybe she would like this, but it's organic spicy honey sauce. And um, I don't know how much this was. Did I mark it down? Uh, $2.69 for this. And, um, you know, she'll put it in like a marinade or something like that for chicken or, you know, whatever she wants to do with it. But I bought it for my oldest daughter and uh, she can't wait to use that. I showed her. This is so exciting. Okay, so the next thing I got was everything but the leftover seasoning. And this was two, $2.99. And I thought this might be nice like on my chicken or something. I haven't really um, got into it to see what it smells like or what's in it. But um, let's see. 
It has um, salt, pepper, uh, dried yeast, turmeric, dried celery seed. So yeah, I could use that on my chicken. And uh, yeah, so $2.99 for that. And then the one thing I actually went in for and was not leaving without was only $1.99. And um, it is the Everything But The Bagel Sesame um, Blend. And I got four of these because my daughter buys whatever she can find in Canada because she has had this before. So um, because we don't have this kind in Canada, the Trader Joe's brand, she buys whatever knockoff she can. But now she can have the actual uh, <laughs> Trader Joe's brand. And I bought four of them. Uh, we'll probably make bagels. Maybe I'll film that too. But um, she uses the off-brand all the time. So she's pretty excited about that. I got four of those. Four of them. And then I got this vanilla bean paste. Again, very expensive here. It's the Trader Joe's Organic Vanilla Bean Paste. And uh, it was $4.99. Five dollars for vanilla bean paste. That is a great deal, even with the exchange. And um, I was pretty happy to get that. And I do a lot of baking, so I got two of those. What else did I get? There's the other uh, bagel spices or seasonings. The other seasoning I got was the pumpkin spy Trader pumpkin spy pumpkin spice Trader Joe's. And that's always great to have in the cupboard because um, I usually make it from scratch. I add all the stuff together. But this will be nice just to pull out if I need um, pumpkin spice. So the next thing I got, I found this skincare kind of little cubby that they had in the store. And um, I bought this because I know my daughter is at work always washing their hands. Their hands are really rough. And this is the Trader Joe's Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. And... Um, yeah, we're going to try that too. I couldn't believe what they had, but that's what it looks like. And I think this was, how much was this? $4.99. And you know, if it works, that's great. A little bit on. Oh yeah, that feels fantastic. Yeah, she's going to love that. Not much of a scent to it. Um, it feels really good on the hands. Glad I bought that. So then I picked up for $3.99 this uh, Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Hair Mask. And uh, the young gentleman that cashed us through said that he uses this all the time. And uh, he absolutely loves it. So I, I thought it was a great purchase. I I wanted to buy more, but I really have to try it on my hair to see if I like it or not. If I like it, next time we go back, I will buy a whole bunch of it for $3.99. And um, the last thing I got before we do the taste test, I bought one of these. And again, the young gentleman said that every year around, you know, Thanksgiving, when they get this in, he buys a whole whack of it so that he can use it all year round. And... Um, he absolutely loves it. And it's the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Overnight Mask. Oops. And uh, it was $6.99, which I still think is very, very good for an overnight mask. And um, he uh, talked me into buying another one. So I left the aisle, went back and got another one. He said, you won't regret it. I have not tried this yet, but I will probably try it tonight. Um, if I can get it out. Oh, not much of a smell. It smells kind of like the hand cream, you know, not much of a, sm a smell, but like a clean smell. That's what it looks like. And uh, I'm just going to put a bit on my hand. So exciting. Oh, yeah, it feels really, really nice on the skin. So I will put that on tonight and um, see how I like it. And the girls will probably try it out, too. So I'm going to go and clean up and um, come back with a taste test. Okay, I'm back and I am excited. So the first thing I'm going to try, you if you know me, you know I love a wafer. And we're going to try this peanut butter filling wafer. 
hand done. I do have a knife here. We'll just cut a little piece off, have a look inside. That is the best wafer I've ever had. I need another piece. Just a small piece. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So good. So, so good. Do you like peanut butter, chocolate, wafers? You know, you live by a, a Trader Joe's. That is your uh, snack to get. I'm telling you. I will buy more of those next time I go back as well. So, so good. Okay, let's try one of these espresso beans. Um, also, the guy on cash told me that um, the... If I can get this open. He said they're all good, but that this one here, the light brown one, is his favorite. That is so good. Oh, so good. Mmm. I do not want to share those. I know I said I got a bag for the girls and for me, but I'm going to hide them. Yes, I am. They're mine. Mine, mine, mine. Okay. Next thing we're going to try the peanut butter cups. Dark chocolate. Not big on dark chocolate, but everything's going so well right now that um, we're going to try. That's what it looks like out of the packaging. I'm just going to cut a little piece. I'll cut it in half. So that's what it looks like inside. Lots of peanut butter. Happy dance. That is fantastic. That is so, so good. Oh, I don't want to give anybody any of them. I'm going to just hide them in my closet. I'm going to hide them. I don't think they know that I bought these. I'm not sure if I told them I bought these. No, I'll probably share them. I probably will. I'll just buy more next time I go back. Okay, so cookie butter. And I know I said I would never put anything on these crackers, but I don't really have a vessel right now. So we're going to use one of these beautiful, wonderful, my favorite thing in the whole world now, uh, trail mix crackers from Trader Joe's. So here is a cracker. And um, it has cranberry on it, all kinds of seeds, uh, cashew hanging off of there. Absolutely love that. Let's try it on its own first. good. Take a little bit of this butter, cookie butter, and put it on the cracker. I may have to move. I may have to move to the States. That is fantastic. How? This tastes like a cookie. It is so good and it's actually really good on that cracker. So good. Mm. So much for my diet. I'm in food heaven. I wish I could share all of this with you. I really do. 
These crackers, though, I'm telling you, it's where it's at. These are the best crackers I've ever had in my life. So, Trader Joe's Butter Toffee Pretzels. Yay! I love the packaging. Um, I don't know who Trader Joe is, but I'm going to look it up. Oh, my gosh. Can you see that? That's what it looks like. It's just covered in what I assume is just goodness. Let's go. nothing I've ever had before oh it's so good oh the girls are gonna love these bet you my husband does too he's not much on sweets but I bet you he will love these they're not overpowering they're lovely absolutely lovely okay so I think the last thing I'm gonna try is um uh the dill pickle Virginia um peanuts I love dill pickle I love dill pickle. I'm going to be dancing all day. Can you see those? will say they're not overpowering I think there could be a little more dill pickle on these I mean I'm I'm gonna eat them <laughs> but uh, a little more dill pickle wouldn't hurt but um, they are fantastic absolutely fantastic everyone in this house will love these so so good I'm just gonna have the rest of my cracker Yay. Mm. This has been the best taste test I have ever done. I love everything. Uh, everyone in the house is going to love everything. And um, I was surprised by the cookie butter. I absolutely love it. And I do love it on that cracker. So with that being said, that's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this haul and uh, the taste test. And if you did, please subscribe and hit that like button and hit the notification button so you know when I'm uploading again. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye for now.